watch. I lost it, but I got it somewhere. It might not even be in this house. I'm gonna do my what I got my kids for Christmas video as you can see I didn't get them very much so firstly I want to preface this video by saying a couple of things the first thing yes very aware that they didn't get much this year that they won't have very much to unwrap but that's fine for a couple of different reasons one being we went so overboard last year because I was more worried about quality rather than quantity so out of like the literally 50 gifts I probably bought for two kids we probably have two or three of them left because they were junk. Like, I just didn't get good quality gifts. And this year, I feel like I got things that I know they'll play with and things that I know they'll last. Um, so, that's that. They, My goal was to only get them four gifts a piece. I messed up a little bit, but still, clearly, this is not very much for three kids. But I am so happy with the things that I did find and the sales I got. We didn't have a budget per se, but I was trying to buy things on sale when I could. Um, but we weren't really worried about price as long as I was getting toys that I know they would play with and things that would last. So, the other thing I want to say is that I shopped for my three boys. Liam, who will be nine months old when Christmas comes around, and Landon and Logan, who just turned three. However, they, they're a set of twins. They have level 2 autism spectrum disorder, so their development as far as play, communication, interaction, all of that is probably that of a one-year-old. So Landon and Logan and Liam are all kind of similar in their development with play. So they'll all play with all of these things. Not every three-year-old is going to want to play with these things. Some three-year-olds are way, way, way past development of these toys. Maybe your three-year-old does want to play with them. Maybe this gives you more ideas for your one-year-old. But either way, I just want to let you know that not every three-year-old plays with these things. But these are the things that I know my kids will love and my kids will play with. So I just wanted to say that. So let's get started. Okay. Firstly, we're going to start with Liam. I didn't get a ton for him, but I did get him things that I know he'll play with. So firstly, I just got him this little carrot teether. How cute. He has a little banana one and he loves it. So I think he'll love the carrot one, he just turned eight months old and hasn't even tried to start cutting teeth. So I know that time is coming very, very, very soon. So we got this. This might end up in his, might end up in his stocking, but I'll see when the time comes. He loves to unwrap gifts, so I think it'll be fun just to wrap that up for him. So that's the first thing we got him. And then this is also just another teether. It's just a little coffee cup. It has balls in it to make kind of a rattle. It has like a little keychain on it. And then I assume you just chew on this like part right here. It feels like it might be rubber up there. Um, so we got this. How cute is that? He's going to love that. And then we seen this at Walmart and he smiled so big because he loved it. It just makes noise, lights up. It's kind of heavy for a little kid, but he loves it. So I got that for him. It was like $10 at Walmart, but I got it way cheaper at Target and shipping is free. So definitely check out Target because they always have good deals. They have coupons all the time. I think they just finished up like a 25% off any toy coupon, but I'm sure they'll do it again because that was the second time they've done it in like the last month or so. And then I seen this at Walmart too, ended up finding it cheaper on Amazon actually. It's just the Linkables. We just got the Moose one, which he like just lights up, dances, and sings. But they're so cute if you get all of the Linkables, they all sing together. So cute, but we only got this dude for now. I know that all the boys are going to love it, and maybe eventually, if they love it enough, we'll get the other Linkables to link them all up together. But for now, this is technically Liam's, even though they're all going to play with it. And then we just got Liam this rock and stack thing. Um, we've had so many of these from Landon and Logan, but they just get destroyed. We lose the pieces. They get disgusting and sticky and nasty from God knows what. So we just throw them out and start fresh. They're only $5. I got this one on Clarence at TJ Maxx for four, and this one's different. It's not like the regular Fisher Price one, and this one's like textured so he can chew on it and it'll feel good on his gums, and I'm sure we'll replace this, but for now, I know he'll get use out of this. And then the last thing we got Liam is this big Fisher Price ride on toy. He's going to love this. There's nothing scissors and a Sharpie down in there. I did not know that. Um, it just lights up, plays music. 
We used to have a bunch of these, but we had to throw them away when we moved here to Kansas because they just were just all disgusting from being outside. And I think he's really going to like this. He's starting to learn to walk, I guess. He uses his, like, other walker thing, but he doesn't have a ride on. So this is, a, like, a walker and a ride on, and he's going to get so much use out of this. So that's his big gift, which I got this from Target. Oh, I got this from Target for only $20 after using coupons and it being on sale. So that is Liam's final gift. And then moving on to the twins, I have three things here that I can't show you physically, but I can insert a picture. Um, firstly, I want to get them ride on toys, just a little six volt, like battery operated, like four wheeler thing. They had a Ninja Turtle ones, but I had Ninja Turtle ones, but I think from just being outside and sitting in storage too long in our move from Washington to Kansas that they went bad. I don't know if it's from the cold or I don't know what, but either way, we charged them up and there still wasn't any power and now they just don't do anything at all. I, I don't want to buy a new battery just for it, that to not be the problem, so we're just going to completely replace them. Um, they go on sale on Black Friday for $40, so we're just going to pick a couple of those up, and that'll be their big gifts that we know they're going to get use out of. We were debating between um, a bike with, you know, training wheels on it, but I don't think they're ready. They love to be pushed around on them, but me being one person with three kids, I can't necessarily push them around on there all year, or all, all year, all by myself. Um, and then we were also thinking about balance bikes, but I think this year we're just going to go with the battery operated. We've kind of thought about it. I've thought about it mostly. Um, and I just feel like developmentally those are best. Maybe next year they'll be ready for a bike, but right now I don't feel like they're there, which is totally fine. They just turned three years old. Not many three-year-olds are ready to ride a bike, so... We're not worried about that. We're just going to go with those, get those on Black Friday. And the other thing I don't have here to show you because I'm an idiot and shipped it to my mom and dad's house instead of my address is like a Play-Doh set. It has like some Play-Doh in it and then it has like letters. It has all the alphabet just um, like cutters for it. So that one's going to go to one of Landon and Logan. And then I got this other Play-Doh set. You just put the Play-Doh in there, squish it, stuff comes out, you know, fun toddler things. And then I got them each one of these like alphabet tablets. I think they were both less than $15. They have so many of these already, but I feel like they can never have too many because they just are obsessed with the alphabet. It lights up, plays music. They're going to love it. They are obsessed with letters. They're obsessed with the alphabet. They're obsessed with learning words that start with certain letters. So they each got one of these. One will be for Landon and Logan on Christmas Day. Oh my gosh, goodbye. Bye bye. Dear gosh. They'll each have one to unwrap on Christmas Day, but obviously all three boys will play with these. Um, so we got some of those. And then these, I love. These are from the Target Dollar Spot that they have around Christmas time. They have so many to choose from. They're only $5. So I got them the alphabet one. Like I just said, they're obsessed with the alphabet. And then just a Christmas one because they don't have one like this. They have so many, but not any Christmas ones. Um, Logan tore one open while we were in Target and he had one that had animals on it and you lift it up and it has the word, like the spelling of the animal underneath of it and he loves to spell out the word, put it back on, he just loves it and for $5 you can't beat this because they're actually wood, they feel like Melissa and Doug quality and they're going to get so much use out of these, I hate cleaning these up but they love playing with them and these ones even have the pegs so that Liam can play with them too and it, it's just better for Landon and Logan too, so... They each got one of these. These are their last two gifts. I'd say these are like their medium-sized gifts. Um, I got them the little little people Fisher Price. Is that what they're called? Little people, little yeah. Um, airplane. They have all the other ones like the school bus, the fire truck. I don't know what other ones there are, but for some reason they haven't had the airplane. They love the other ones. They have multiple of the other ones. Don't know why we never got the airplane, but the one we got apparently is very disgusting as dirt or something on it, which is whatever. So they're going to love this, what toddler wouldn't love this, um, so they're going to get that, and then their last gift, I, it's kind of big, but it's their medium, is this barn, Logan is going to specifically get this because he sees it in the store every single time and tries to take it with us, oh, it lights up, it has animals with it, it has a cute little bell on it, the one he wanted from the PX was $40, and I got this. I got this 
for $20 at Target. Like, what the heck? I It was on sale for like $26, had a 25% off coupon. I got this bad boy for $20. Like, that's nuts. I was going to pay $40 for it. So, he's going to freak out when he sees this. And they're probably going to play with it all Christmas Day. All three of the boys probably will. And then I got this blanket for Logan because I've destroyed it in this video while holding it. I have a purple one of these and he loves to snuggle up with it. He's always loved blankets, but this one is so soft. If you haven't got these from Walmart, highly recommend. They're 888 and they've got lots of colors. They're like Sherpa, so they're so comfy. He gets so happy when he has mine, so now he'll have his own and I can have mine back. So this is like an extra gift, but I don't know. I considered it a stocking stuffer. Obviously, it's not going to fit in a stocking, but I just wanted this specifically for Logan because Landon doesn't really care about blankets. Okay, moving on to stocking stuffers. Since I got Logan that blanket as his own gift, I wanted to get Landon his own gift for something that just he loves and that he doesn't have to share. <clears throat> Obviously, Landon's will fit in his stocking. Logan's blanket won't fit in one, but I was on the lookout for a watch for Landon because he's been wearing Ben's and he loves that it lights up. Ben's, Ben's is digital and this one isn't. But it still has numbers on it and he's going to love it. It lights up red, which he's really, really going to love. And it was on sale for only $4, so I picked that up. And then moving on to the actual stocking stuffers, I didn't get much for Liam because he's only 9 months old. He can only have so much and doesn't really need much. So I'm going to throw probably some puffs in there, maybe one of those teethers that I got since I got him extra toys. And then we don't go all out for stockings. I was raised on just stockings that had candy in it and I was just fine. I know people like to put like nice gifts in there, but it's just not what we do. It's fine if other people do, but that's just not what we do as a family. Uh, my kids don't really like candy, so I got them the candy that they do like and then the rest is just snacks and little tiny toys. So I'm going to fly through this real quick to show you what I got and that will be it. So firstly, Landon and Logan, I've got them each a pack of these from the Dollar Tree. They'll only eat peanut butter crackers and they have to be orange ones or else they don't want them. So they'll each get a pack of those in their stocking. I got them each one of these um, bath bombs. They're like Jurassic Park ones. I don't have this stuff organized at all because I've filmed this three times now. I'm just throwing everything in here now. Um, they're like Jurassic Park bath bombs. One's mango, one's watermelon. They can't have these in the bathtub because Landon has really, really severe eczema and this will flare his skin up so bad. But I think just on Christmas, this will be fun to put in a bowl of water and let them kind of fizz out and we'll see what's inside. I don't really know what's in here. I'm hoping it's like a little dinosaur because they've been liking dinosaurs lately. But we got them each one of these. These were $3 at Walmart. And then... I got Landon and Logan Oreo Bites, and then I got Liam just like actual Oreos. He obviously can only have like one of these. He's only had one or two, I mean, ever, and he's, you know, eight months old, so he can't just eat all of these, but I think it'll be fun just to give him one as a treat on Christmas, and then Landon and Logan can have the rest. Um, Candy-wise, my kids will only eat Smarties and Suckers, so I got them a couple of Carnival Pops, Dum Dums, and then I got them just like the Gourmet Pops that were like 50 cents at the Dollar Tree. I just got them each one um, hot and candy flavor. There's another one in there. So I'll just split those up amongst the twins. And then I eat Smarties. So I got these after Halloween for only 50 cents. So they'll each get a bag of these. And candy wise, that's all they'll eat. So that's all the candy they're getting. And then as far as like little toys that will end up in the trash literally the next day, I got them just these little chalkboards. They were a dollar or two at Walmart in the stocking stuffer section. Um, I wanted to check out Target's dollar section or like their stocking stuffers, but I, I'm content with what I got. So we'll play with these. They're just like little cardboard chalkboards. It comes with chalk eraser. We'll play on it, throw it away the day after Christmas. Um, I did get them each spin brushes because they love brushing their teeth. They have light up toothbrushes that they love, but I think they'll really love these electric ones. I got them for only $4. Um, so they're going to get a toothbrush. And then I got them just stampers from the Dollar Tree. They love these. They'll dry out the next day because the lids will get left off. But for Christmas, they'll be fun to play with. And then I got them each just like a Hot Wheel. They didn't need any more, so I just got them one a piece. This isn't really a Hot Wheel. It's like a Dollar Tree brand, which I didn't know until I got home. So it'll probably fall apart too, but 
once again for Christmas. It'll be fun to play with, and then it'll fall apart the same day. I got them these like light up balls, Landon and Logan. I don't know why I didn't get Liam one, but I didn't. But I'm sure they'll share them anyway. So these were only a dollar at Walmart a piece. I got them each one of those. That sucker that I couldn't find earlier. Um, Landon and Logan love these little play animals, so I got them each whatever these are. I don't know if this is an alligator or a crocodile. I don't know what this is at all, um, but they'll know because they're smarter than I am. And then I got all three of the boys one of these, just a little snow globe. This one's Star Wars, this one's Mickey, this one's Paw Patrol. They are, like, mesmerized by these of, like, looking at them. They love it, so hopefully they don't shatter them and we can just show them and they'll see it and I love to like get these for them every year like maybe write the year on them and just start putting these in their stockings start a little tradition because we don't really have any so hopefully these don't get shattered on Christmas these are only a dollar at Walmart in their stocking stuffer section so we got those and that's the last thing that's all we're putting in our stockings and their stockings so that's it aside from the little things I'm going to put in Liam's last minute, the puffs, Nutri-Ray Mars, whatever I decide to put in there, nothing crazy. We're done. That's it. That's it. That's a wrap.